Welcome back. Let's begin a daily, uh, uh, with a daily graphic. But before that, um, I share with you that in the next hour, the General Secretary of the National Democratic Congress, uh, Johnson Asidin Kektia, popularly known as General Mosquito, will be our guest here. We'll be having an exclusive conversation with him uh, on a myriad of issues, and you, sh you don't want to miss that particular conversation. But the finder this morning reports that two firms raised for ECG concession submit proposals to META for evaluation. Two suits hit government of a U.S. military deal. Dr. Opuni Adgongo uh, granted 300,000 bail uh, each. And uh, President assures foreign investors of total security of their investments. Ghana Code of War signed Abidjan Dakor uh, on Coco. The Daily Guide this morning says AGI's 25 years for Opuni over 217 million fraud. Ghana Cote d'Ivoire signed Cocoa Agreement, an NDC military deal with the U.S. for Parliament. Today, newspaper says NDC guru storm court as Opuni pleads not guilty. The Daily Statement says Central Regional Minister urges restraint as government fixes economy. Ghana Cote d'Ivoire move to control cocoa trade and Opuni Agongo get 600,000 Ghana cities bail. Uh, they plead not guilty. And finally, the BNFT says policy rate reaches three-year low. Well, the banks respond this time. Bank of Ghana caps age and tenor of banking sector couples, but analyst punches hold. GMPC secures investors for Pristia Sankofa Gold. My guest this morning, Sami Jamefi, is a representative of the NDC, he speaks for their communication team. Sam, good morning. Welcome. Thank you. And Dr. Bernard Okoboy is the MP for Elejo Kuku, uh, popularly uh, it's people call Elejo Kuku Jay-Z, but he's also a member of the MPP's communication team. Doc, welcome. Good morning. Thank you. Thank you thank and how are you doing? Ah, oh, my grace. And my Tuesday morning as well? Yeah, so far so good. Okay, so let's deviate a bit. <coughs> the, the Ghana Meteorological Agency says we'll have a double portion of brains this year. Are we prepared for it? I'll start with you because I know that in your constituency there's a never-ending problem. Are you prepared? Are we prepared? Yeah, uh, my brother, let me first... Your year is weak. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> let me first of all say a very good morning to Sami, mm -hmm. my brother, and then to your good self and all your all your viewers. Uh, also to my brothers and sisters in the Lejokuku constituency, mm -hmm. my my own constituency, and uh, to one big brother, Gabi Ochidaku okay. of Dankwa Institute. Yeah. You know... Yeah, my, my response was quite faint because uh, I, I, I had one inheritance. In fact, this government had one inheritance, which is in my constituency, which I'm never proud of and has been giving me headache all the time, mm. which is the Teshi Link Road. Mm. That's a road, it's a 7.5 kilometer road right. that passes in front of the Lekma Hospital. And mm. in fact, I've been going round and round uh, talking to officials in government mm. to help us fix the road. And the minister has taken some steps. We are, we have been assured that uh, very soon the contractor will hit the road. Mm. But with the rains coming, anytime it rains, it only gets worse. Right. So I'm just hopeful that I think it's one big problem we have in the constituency mm. with that road okay. from Manet to uh, from Spintex through Manet to right. the hospital to the beach road. Right. And I know uh, uh, Sami uses uh, nice alone car. Okay. And I don't want him to get issues mm. when he tries. That's why uh, I stay. Actually. Actually. Yeah, you see. Mm. Yeah. And being the way he was very forceful on the legal issues and lobbied us to speak, okay. I, I, I wish he would. He should be mentioning the road wherever okay. he goes. Mm. Okay. Especially in their press conferences, too. He should remember to mention the road. Okay. Yeah. Sami, uh, are we ready for the race? Double portion, um, a Christ, dirty, other cities are following suit. Are we ready? So I think you, you answered the question yourself. Mm. First of all, a very good morning to our cherished viewers this morning. And um, I would want to begin by commending the Ghana Meteorological Service mm. for serving as notice as to what to expect this year mm. ahead of time. Right. Many a times when uh, these things take us by surprise, mm. we blame them for not being proactive right. in warning the country. But I think that um, they have done the right thing now by sounding the alarm uh, so that we can do what we need to do mm -hmm. to avert any calamities. Um, so this should be a wake-up call okay. to the various MMDCs, mm -hmm. the various assemblies 
the ministries, okay. uh, specifically the Ministry of Local Government, the Ministry of Sanitation, mm. uh, and all of us right. to ensure that we rid our communities and our streets, our gutters of filth, and we take the necessary steps okay. which will avert any disaster. So I think that this is a collective and a shared responsibility. Right. The media, all state institutions, all stakeholders mm -hmm. must complement each other for us to put the right systems in place, mm -hmm. for us to, you know, uh, do the right things to avert any calamity. Right. Yeah. Okay. Some, uh, doc, let's start from the courts. Yeah. Yesterday, uh, Dr. Puni and uh, Alaji Agongo were in court. They plead they're not guilty. The AG is looking at 25 years. I wouldn't want us to get into the merits of the issue because yeah. it will be yeah. subjudicated. But one thing that happened yesterday at the court was that some persons were purported to have been bust there. In fact, yeah. some of their own testimony was that they were just seen around Jamestown roundabout and they were told to come there and give somebody funds in their own words. It's becoming worrying, not just this, but in the times past, people are arrested, taken to BNI, Yoko wherever it is, and you have people massing up and saying, free him, free him, free him. Uh, if people genuinely believe that they have done nothing wrong, why must we have the massing up of crowds? Is that good for our democracy at this time? You know, my brother, um, let me start by saying that the, the interest of this government and, and this right from the top, from mm. the president's cabinet, the government, mm. is not necessarily to put former go, uh, how do you call it, executives mm. or former public officers in jail. Okay. Uh, that's not what would make us pop champagne. Okay. But in consonance with the manifesto of the MPP right. before coming to power, mm. we are very much interested in ensuring mm -hmm. that all assets of the state mm. that have landed in the hands of right. individuals mm. in a wrong manner are retrieved back to the state. Okay. Now, what is exciting mm -hmm. when it comes to what is happening in court is not the fact that Opuni appears to be standing before a judge, mm. but the lesson that nobody is above the law, right. including current executives. Mm. And that if that's assuming, I'm not saying he's guilty, okay. assuming you... He is not yeah, of until course, the law yeah, says so. Exactly. Right. So, so that I'm saying that, assuming you get yourself in an act mm -hmm. which robs the state, it is possible that you'll be accountable. Right. I mean, that's the lesson. Right. Uh, then thirdly, mm -hmm. I insist strongly, the president is the same with his excellency. Right. Nobody is guilty mm. until proven otherwise in court. Right. So as we speak, mm. Dr. Puni is supposed to be innocent. Right. And we want the discussion to be in this manner. Mm. Now, I mean, we mentioned 27 uh, charges right. willfully causing financial loss mm. to the tune of 270 million. It is not within our domain okay. or jurisdiction, mm. not even Attorney General, to conclude and establish that the gentleman is wrong. Right. But it is the courts. Exactly. And, 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 and that is one thing that I'm very much interested in. Now, what is happening is not political persecution. Mm. It is what? Prosecution. Which has... A, 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 an aspiring lawyer mm. knows that it is part of our democratic world, governance. Right. Your chances of acquittal mm. is not in the multitude of supporters who visit the courts. Mm. My brother, I think politicians by now should know this so well okay. that your chances, any chance of acquittal mm. is not embedded in the number of people who come there to shout and support you. Mm. It is in the power of the arguments you make in court. Right and how your conduct was in the case that's been investigated. Mm. And me, I'm not too surprised if I'm told that the, those guys who happen to be in the court are saying that they were captured around Jamestown and were told that... They, they were not captured. Uh, uh, they were rallied. They in, were rallied in, and told like, that, <laughs> why and why my fans? Mm. Let's go and you know, show support. Mm. Now, the, the judges who handle such cases, my brother, uh, numbers, mm. noise, and ranting, does not in any way affect them. And if there's any lesson to learn, mm -hmm. my own senior brother, uh, Abu Gapil right. and Asibi, they had people following them when they were going to court. But when the day of reckoning come, the judgment is read, mm -hmm. and they say that this is what is happening, mm -hmm. not even the IGP has the capacity, not the Ghana army. Mm -hmm. 
has the capacity. The only thing is in two people, either the president or an appeal in the Superior Court. Wow. He knows better. So I'll just urge all people, both people within my party mm -hmm. and outsiders, to try to stay away from the merits of the matter as mm -hmm. much as possible. Mm -hmm. That, does this situation yeah. mirror the uh, alarming unemployment rate among the young people of this country? Yeah, yeah. Because if they were gainfully employed, I doubt that they would they my, would my, fall for this. My brother, you know, uh, when you're a politician, you, you get to appreciate the, the gravity of the idleness. Mm. I, mean, I mean, people being idle, I mean, not being engaged or employed. Mm in this country. It's a national security problem. Right. And uh, if there are places I can go now in Accra, mm. I can pull at least 1,000 people in an hour without telling them what we are going to do. Are you serious? Oh, I'm telling you. There are people, I will not mention the towns. Okay. There are places, if I take buses there and give five Ghana cities each. You will rally them right now. Within an hour. You see, and that is why. 1,000 people. Yes. If you give me one hour, I can organize 1,000 people. With, without knowing what we are going to do. And it tells you the problem we have as a country. There are many factors. One, some are not engaged. Okay. Two, some are not, you know, education is powerful. Right. Education makes you ask questions. Mm. You ask, where are you going? Right. Uh, but there are some who don't even think of that. Mm. They assume that it is for a genuine cause. Okay. You know, and, and, and that is also another matter we have to look at. But there's one which we nearly missed, which is at the heart of all this discussion. Okay. We can do so well as a country mm -hmm. by improving upon our growth rate in the economy. We can do so well by raking up so much revenue compared to previous revenues. Mm -hmm. We can do so well by trying to help majority of our people. Okay. But if corruption, mm -hmm. if we don't take steps to send a signal that in this country, when you take wrongfully, and that's not specific right. to a police case, okay. but generally, generally, we right. must send a signal mm -hmm. that anybody can be called to account for what you have, you were asked to look over. Mm. That signal must be strong because, like you saw with the last Auditor General Special Audit, mm. 5.4 billion was established by the Auditor General mm. to be like fictitious mm. or not true. That, that has been contested by the end. Good, but I know that even when it is contested, nobody can tell me that it will come to zero. Maybe they believe there are some portions so it can whittle it down. Mm. But the bottom line is that we leak as a country. Okay. When I say we leak, I mean... There are loopholes. Exactly. And, and right. I don't want to... This morning, okay, you know, Sami is looking very handsome. So I don't want to go into oh, specific Sami is cases. always handsome. Yes. Stop, stop you know, <laughs> extra handsome. See, don't, the, don't poke oh, him to come in. See, the thing is that I can cite specific cases right. where the cases have been established in the court okay. that transactions mm. were inflated or money wrongfully we'll, we'll come to that part yeah. of the conversation. Sami, take a bite on this particular one. Uh, Dr. Puni was in court with uh, Elijah Gongo. But I want us to look at the, the angle that we picked from Dr. Boy. You are a student of the law. Is it your opinion that when people mass up in such cases, it, it adds any value at all to the case? Uh, thank you very much, my brother. First of all, it is important to state emphatically mm. that the claim that people were bashed to the law court complex mm. yesterday mm. in support of Dr. Opuni by officials of the National Democratic Congress is totally false. Mm. That misleading information was put out mm. by Joy FM. As a matter of fact, that is why I first heard the story. Mm. And I can tell you Even when they that spoke the report, with some of the people. no, I, I listened to that, the said news, you know, uh, 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 reports, mm. and the voices they played mm. were at variance with allegations they had made in the report. My, my own friend, Komla Adum, did the stand up uh, right okay, in so, the streets. So I, I, I am saying that it is totally false okay. that any official of the National Democratic Congress okay. bust people to the law cause complex yesterday. Right. That claim is not supported by any evidence mm. on the ground. It okay. is contrived mm. by uh, some you know, of these rented press in the country to suit their own parochial agenda. So let us put so, that so on record. It is important they, for the, us so to state that. So they took the people to the court and staged them and no, asked them I'm saying that the reports 
is false. Okay. The report you are receiving, which is forming the basis of these questions, are all false. Mm. Now, secondly, to address your question, there is nothing wrong. Okay. I was in court myself, and right. I will tell you why I was in court. But even before I do so, the people who came to the law court complex yesterday to solidarize with Dr. Opuni and the accused right. who had been brought before the court mm. were people who came from different parts of the country right. because they believed in the innocence of the accused. And there is absolutely nothing wrong with that. My brother, as you rightly pointed out to Dr. Okuboy, Article 19, Clause 2, Sub Clause C of the 1992 Constitution is clear. Mm that any criminal accused person mm. is presumed innocent mm. until proven guilty. Right. He's not presumed guilty mm. until proven innocent, but innocent until proven guilty. You that's, understand? That's right. And so what it therefore means is that as we speak now, Dr. Opuni, mm. Mr. Seidu Agungu are innocent people right. who enjoy the same rights that you and I enjoy. Now tell me, what is wrong with solidarizing and supporting an innocent man? Mm. If we agree that constitutionally they are innocent, mm. then what is wrong with solidarizing with an where, innocent where, man? Where people, people, people thrown to the court in numbers that outpour or outrun if the capacity. If you ask me, the number, the number for me was even small. And I would, I, would, I would want to encourage supporters of Dr. Puni, mm. the well-meaning Ghanaians who believe in their innocence, who believe in the principle of uh, 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 fairness and justice, who believe in the rule of law, you understand? And who see this, you know, uh, who, who see mm. through this persecution agenda of mm. this government to come out in their numbers on the 11th of April, which is the next agenda. Why, why didn't, to support why didn't Mr. Abuja Pele uh, if, get if, the no, same No, if you can allow me to flow, of, you, you, no. I'll, I'll get there, I'll get there, I'll get there. So that is what, that, that, that is the first fundamental point that we need to understand, that once the people are presumed to be innocent, mm. then it means that there is absolutely nothing bad, mm. nothing wrong in solidarizing with them. They, mm. Oko Boy and his MPP friends, mm. you know, when a certain member of parliament, I'm talking about the member of parliament for Assembly Central Constituency, Honorable Kennedy, in Japan, mm. made a very serious, you know, uh, and shameful claim mm. that Ashanti should kill guns and Rutherians and all that, and he was brought before court. They went to court. Mm. They carried him high on their shoulders, brought him to their party headquarters. You know, poured powder on him, jubilating, celebrating is, him as a victim. Is that the way now, today to he is giving us lectures, he's is, giving us is advice. That the, is that a way to go? They, they had that right. They had that constitutional right. And that is why nobody came to sit here to uh, blame them and, for anything. And, and I'm you asking, understand? why didn't Abu Gapele get the same kind of support? Because at the time, the charges were leveled no. against him. He was equally not guilty. At the time. And he was a, a, a member in good standing yes, of the NDC. Yes, yes, but at the time, the government of the day, uh, supported by the ruling party, had taken a position that government believed that even though he was a member of our party, mm. he had certain questions to answer okay. before the course of competent jurisdiction. So it would have been contradictory for us to have shown that solidarity to right. him when we were the very people who put him before court. Mm. You understand? Mm. So the two issues are totally different. Mm. And what you the question you just asked me is what brings to the fore are unflinching commitment to the fight against corruption. Right. I mean, the easiest part to the fight against corruption has to do with the prosecution or the persecution of people who are opposed to you, like they are doing. But we took the, def the difficult path, which had to do with we prosecuting our own certain member of parliament. You understand? So we have demonstrated in the past that we will not shield any official of mm. ours who uh, is found culpable or who engages in any corrupt acts. Mm. You understand? Now, I told you earlier on that I was in court. Mm. And I was in court to solidarize and to show support to Dr. Opuni because I have known him as a patriot who has served this country well. Mm. I have known him for his excellent and sterling performance as a chief executive officer of Cocoa Board. Mm. And I think that he should be celebrated and commended rather than which hunted and persecuted mm. Uh, as is, is, is being you, done you think currently. he's being witch -handed. Yes, clearly. Even as uh, a student of the law, he's in court uh, before a competent court. And, 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 court. And, and, and as a student of law, I can tell you that it doesn't happen in any civilized country, not mm -hmm. even in Somalia, that criminally accused persons, even before they are brought before courts of competent jurisdiction mm -hmm. for them to be tried, 
their charges are released to the media. They are bastardized and demonized in the media. Mm -hmm. They are pronounced guilty mm -hmm. even before they are self noticed that, I mean, they have a case to answer in court and even before they are actually brought before the court. Is it, but is that it not, was is exactly it not, what is it happened not true, in this case. Uh, Sami, that when they, a writ is filed in the court, it becomes a public document. Anybody, a media can, can assess it. Is it not true? In a criminal case, is it not give me, apart from this opening case, mm -hmm. give me any such instance in the past. Where criminal accused persons, mm. even before they were brought to court, mm. even before their police were taken, mm. we saw their charges flying on social media like we saw in this case. Educate me. That's because it, that's because that's it, that's it is against the law. The reason why it is against the law is that mm. it is against the right of the accused to fair trial because it, they are presumed innocent mm. on, until proven guilty. And under the rules of natural justice mm. and under the rules of the, the ordinary or terrain pattern rule, their right. side must be heard. Mm. And so, or before you give them the opportunity to do so, to okay. hear their side mm -hmm. and all that, you cannot seek to try them in the media mm -hmm. and pronounce them guilty even before you put so, them in so court. That, so but that the, was what they did. So then the media cannot assess a public document and, the and media, educate its people I am, this, and this issue, 27 charges. No, this so. issue didn't mm -hmm. have to do with the media assessing any document. It had okay. to do with state prosecutors leaking how official do, how do documents. You know this? Because it is clear, I mean, which media house has come out to say that they intercepted the document. Mm. They, it was first of all leaked to their communicators and social media activists and uh, people like Dr. Kuboy to do mischief. Doc, you understand? Doc, no, 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 please. Let me, let me, let me just finish. I'm coming. So that is clear. And to see, appreciate, I'm coming. Yeah. I, you will get a stand. And to appreciate the point I'm making, you need to look at the background of this case. Okay. And how how the MPP, the callous manner in which Dr. Puni has been treated by this Akufuado led administration. Mm. If this man was dismissed under very bizarre circumstance, circumstances, barely four days after this government had you know, taken office, mm. he was given a letter and told to hand over by 5 p.m. They went after him, they went on a fishing expedition to find evidence at all costs to nail him, went to his home in Doma, Hinkro, Kumasi, Akra, and sacked his house, desecrated, you know, the belongings of his dead mother and all that God crowed to go after him. And after that wild goose chase, after that fishing expedition, mm. they got nothing against him. So what did they do? They decided to cook and fabricate this new allegation of, you know, uh, uh, him but, but, but buying was, adulterated this, fertilizer. I, 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 Just to carry favour with I, the people of I, Ghana I, I and to create an impression that they are fighting the against. Of the care. You as, as a student, of I have not gotten understand. these issues are not pending before uh, you no, I, so I've not I, gotten. I, into I don't the want to get into it. Let's let's get into the issues of unemployment, uh, as I link to a doctor Okoboy as well. These people, uh, you have said that nobody was bashed there, but it is also true that some people were there, and I'm saying that man hours were spent like that. Is there any link to unemployment? My brother, I think that you should credit those of us who went to the court with some level of intelligence. No, I, I was in the court. No, Are you I, saying I, that? I know, Are you I saying that I'm, I'm, Sammy, I'm, I'm Sammy, an idol? Sammy, Sammy, the the Sammy, people who came to Sammy, the court, because Sammy, you are suggesting Sammy, that the people who came to the Sammy, court are unemployed, Sammy, idle Sammy, fellows Sammy, who have nothing meaningful Sammy, to do. And I think, that, Sammy, I think that even though Sammy, Sammy, I know that Sammy, you, have, you don't intend this Sammy, to be an insult, indirectly. Sammy, hold on. Hold on. Understand my question. My question is, uh, there were people out there on the streets, and we saw the police shepherding. We'll show you the yes. clip. We saw the police shepherding these people. Mm -hmm. These people were out there even after Dr. Puni had, you know, had been granted bail and, and his, he was gone. There were people still out there. I'm asking a question. Perhaps on the back of the fact that we had 84,000 young people queue up at the Elwax Sports Stadium. And that's, that's it on your screens right there. Okay. 84,000 young people queue up at the Elwax Sports Stadium in search of immigration immigration service job there is no bearing asking, between that is issue it, and there, this is issue. there a linkage These there is people, no linkage uh, there is no linkage okay the mpp supporters who went to the courts okay. you know to carry kennedy Japon <laughs> high on their shoulders brought him to the party uh -huh. where they unemployed are we doing equalization? Doctor, right? no it is not about equalization okay. what i'm trying to tell you that the issue you are raising is a red herring okay there is no bearing between unemployment and the people who you know, masked up at the cause yesterday to show love and support right. and solidarity to okay. Dr. Puni mm. because there is no basis for, for concluding that they are unemployed people, okay. first of all. Mm. Now, I was in court. I'm asking, and, and is, without, I'm asking is there a link? I there is no link. Unemployed. There is no, yes. there is no link. Now, I was in court, and mm. as I sat through the proceedings, mm. listening to the facts of the case being read by the Attorney General, and as I analyzed that, together with all the things which 
have transpired in this Dr. Upuni matter. Uh, my long-held view mm. that this and, is and a case so of persecution mm. was vindicated and confirmed. As I sat in court, my brother, in conclusion, many questions began to rank in my mind. And just permit me to share a few questions with you. This whole issue of Dr. Puni buying adulterated or fake fertilizer, mm. as I sat there, the questions which began to ring in my ears and in my mind were that, number one, if indeed the little bit fertilizer Dr. Puni bought or Cocoa bought, bought mm. under the leadership of Dr. Puni was fake, how come that till date we have not heard any complaint or any report mm. from the from any fa cocoa farmer in this mm. country to that effect. That's for the court how to come, determine, isn't how it? How come yeah. that the Health and Extension Division of Cocoa Board itself, mm. in its report on its failed visit to the cocoa growing regions in 2015, mm. confirmed on page seven of that report mm. that farmers had indicated their preference for that fertilizer that our MPP colleagues are calling, mm. uh, are describing as fake. How come? So you that's, that's for the court to determine. Yes, something. but these are questions. I, 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 don't, that, 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 I, I don't want to no, be no, no, I'm, not, I'm not making any mm. conclusions and I'm not making I any prejudice. I don't have comments. a lawyer on pro bono when basis. A matter is pending, when you. a matter is subjudicated, you can ask questions. So what you are precluded from doing mm. is to Discuss make prejudicial comments. And I am not doing I so. But just permit me to conclude. Now, secondly, secondly, I heard that Tony General no, say in court that minutes. because the fertilizer Upuni bought was fake, mm. it lowered the national cocoa output of the country. Mm. And as I sat in court, I was giggling and laughing. In fact, everybody in court burst into laughter. Because we we're all saying, that, my goodness, we know as a matter of fact that as, at the time Dr. Upuni was leaving office, the national output in terms of the cocoa we harvest in this country was 966,400 metric tons, mm -hmm. close to a million, which is the highest we have, which is the second highest mm -hmm. this nation has ever gotten since our independence. Mm -hmm. Now, how can the NPP and the Attorney General describe that as, you know, a decline in the national is output? It, is of it cocoa? also not true that following the work that President Kufour did? Uh, President Atamil's recorded that one million. We've got one million. Yes, that is true. So but after after we got one million, the, 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 that, that figure dropped to about 700,000 before Dr. Puni went to Cocoa Board. But at the time he was living in 2016, it had gone up to 966,400 okay. metric tons. Sammy, they, I thank you, I thank they, you very in much. 2017, in concluding, they Sammy, in 2017. You have three times. Uh, because, because you've asked <laughs> me the questions. They in 2017 are projecting, they projected that they were going to get 850 thousand metric tons. They are the ones who are not using fake fertilizer. Mm. They are projecting less than Dr. Puni, the one who is accused to have used fake fertilizer, okay. actually achieved in office. So uh, thank you. these are the questions which are yearning for answers. And for me, I think that it is clear we will follow, we will continue to follow this matter keenly. Mm. We are watching the course. We will, if, when things go right, we will say it. When things go bad, we will say it. Okay. Because this is not about Dr. Puni. It is about what is fair. Wait, wait thank you. Let's read best. your comments on 050 That's our WhatsApp line. Also on Facebook, news on TV3 and Twitter, news on TV3. Um, let's move on. And I find that no, page let, two. Let me, let me, just a few responses. Oh, you know, what, what do you I, want to say okay. again? I, what I, do you want to say I, again? I resisted. And mm. actually, I desisted from. It's okay that you resisted. Yeah, yeah. I will not go into it. I just to make some things clear. We are young politicians. You see, you should be careful speaking on authority for the integrity, conduct of a man mm. when you were not caught up in the details of his work when he was in office. Mm. Oh. Now, oh, but, but that's yes, a good boy. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. You see, I said, I, I think you should advice. reserve that Sammy, advice Sammy, for hold yourself. Hold on. See, Sammy, hold on. When you find yourself saying a man accused in a court, is excellent. Is I'm not saying don't say so. But and then so I'm, no, 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 I'm coming, coming. Ah, and then I'm coming to the most crucial matter. I'm, I'm lost. I wrote the words. He okay. said, "What is happening? The charges. He said Do we, if they are cooked and the fabrication. He used those are written yes, 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 yes. The charges the cooked. If they were cooked out, at the MPP headquarters. Yes, yes. allow, allow him yeah, to. Allow him allow him see, look at the statements you are here. It means he's not going to the point. It is dangerous when at this point of your politics, when charges come before a competent court. Before even they get halfway through the trial and come to a judgment, oh, you have so you knew I'm that coming. when you release your charge sheet oh, to the media, for the media to crucify and hang them. Sami, he allowed you allow him, please. To use so the word, his attack is oh. a direct attack. Sammy, well, what is Sammy, my integrity? Sammy, Sammy, I kept you, quiet the whole time. No problem. You, 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 you jabbed him, he kept quiet. Uh, yes. You continue with the mischief. No problem. You see, continue. when you use the word cooked, a fabrication, and even added at the MPP contest, your statements are absolute. It means that all that is happening in the court. 
it is a it is a what's they they have a word i mean it's a theatrical something it's a well, joke that, that, that's for the court no no but that that is the import of such a statement mm -hmm. now let me say something myself i'm coming from the npp okay obviously you are coming from the ndc mm -hmm. it is because of our our orientation okay the knowledge that when we are asked to deal with such a matter mm -hmm. There can be prejudice or malice. Right. That's why it's given to the courts. Mm. And if he is not going to take my advice, it is only when the judgment comes out okay. that I'll look for him and see whether he will speak with the same authority or not. Okay, oh. thank you very much. My brother, just uh, the the final because, this, no, 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 bro, I mean, thank because, because this was uh, two no, firms no, no. range for ECG no concession. I'll, I'll and two no, companies no. have submitted proposals for the concession for the management of operation of and investment in the electrical distribution business of the electricity company of Ghana. They, ECG private sector participation activity is one of the five activities under the ECG financial yeah, operational uh, turnaround project of the Ghana Power Compact 2 program. So we're told that yesterday uh, the two companies, BX. Uh, C Company Ghana Limited and Manila Electric Company Ghana Limited presented their, uh, what do you call it, their proposals uh, after, after it was recalled and uh, it was opened right in their presence. But there are three companies that are protesting, uh, CH Group, EDF and Veolia, they are protesting. Perhaps I start with Yoko Boy on this oh, one. But you started the first one. You start with him. Oh no, I'm starting because <laughs> because no, no, you can what, start with what, me. What, what you had was a residue. Why do you want to no, hear you, what no, you have? No, you you started with me. No, you I'm starting with you. You, 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 you can, can start, start with me. No, you can start with me. You can start. Sami, Sami, he's running away. So take the man. Not a problem at all. But first of all, let me set the record straight that if yes, no, no, yes, 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 please. If Doctor Kuboy understands, and I believe he understands. The presumption of innocence enshrined at that Article 192C of the 1992 Constitution. Mm -hmm. He will not have a beef with me when I, d I say that Dr. Puni is an excellent gentleman, he's a patriot, no, and he's innocent. Because, because constitutionally, what about the cooked and the fabrication? Because we know, we know that this thing is coming from your end. Uh, so you've really got my brother, even you before you, you you've place, really even the before process. you charge him, Kennedy, a Japan sat no, on Adun TV and said, no, sir, you, no, including you, you no, heard people from the You said Dr. Puni would be jailed. Please, when you were saying that Dr. Puni would be jailed, even before you had brought him before the law course, where you were called. But it's not a court. When you were calling him a criminal, Gentlemen, when you were saying that he has stolen 400 million Ghana cities, Sammy, dollars, uh, when you were caught, Dr. Boy, the Sammy, CEO of Cocoa Board Sammy, held a press conference. Please, Sammy, no, just give me 10 Sammy, seconds. No, we don't and have that press conference. Let's respect our viewers. Have viewers. Sammy, please. Please. No problem. You are proceeding. Let's do ECG. Uh, no problem. Uh, two, two proposals have been for, for, for me, for no, me, for no, me, for me. You see, the point, the only point I was making is that. We've gotten it. This advice, you it's know, this advice should be given to MPP. Can we go? People, Thank you. Understand. Your point is now, well noted. Now, let's, let's now on this it. ECG issue, I've not read the story because clearly I thought we were going to discuss the Ghana US military deal, okay. which is a major we source were, of worry. We will talk to about the it, but you, of came, Ghana. you came to the But, but, but what I can say is that this is, this is, this is, there, for me, there is nothing, you know, uh, there is nothing. You came with the US deal. Special, so I understand. For me, it is a normal. Uh, practice They're supposed to be ECG. wrapping up in April. Uh, it's taking long in coming, finally. Uh, I've, like I said, I've not read the story, so I don't know the then details the of the story. But what I can say is that the minister, the sector minister, and all the authorities concerned right. must sit up. Mm. They must step up to the plate and ensure that these issues are uh, right. addressed you know, amicably so that yeah, ECG, let, let me, the operations of ECG let me, will not let me, be affected. Let me share, let yes, me share a few uh, paragraphs with you. So, yes. uh, proposals were submitted yesterday. According to the uh, meta, uh, as of the proposal submission deadline of 4 p.m. yesterday to receive proposals from two consortia, namely BXC Ghana and Manila Electric Company. And uh, proposals were opened yesterday in their presence. There was an in independent GTS. evaluation panel that ran through it. Uh, but then, I, as I said earlier, out of the three companies gunning to win the PSP in the ECG deal, CH Group, EDF, and Veolia protested the latest amendments under the uh, uh, amendment request for proposals, which introduced mandatory 51% Ghanaian ownership, which gives ultimate legal and beneficiary uh, beneficial ownership to Ghanaian citizens. Initially, it was an 80 20. So 80 in favor of the foreigners, 20 for Ghanaians. But with this new proposal, it's 51 for, for Ghanaians and, and uh, 49 for foreigners. I mean, I don't know if you, it, it, you, you get a grasp now. No, but but what to. I recall is that when we were in power 
and uh, we had commenced this transaction. Uh, our brothers from the MPP castigated us, uh, they bastardized us, insulted us, and mm. created an impression that we were collapsing ECG mm. and that we were not, you know, uh, we didn't care okay. about the welfare of the workers at ECG. You know, to the reality check, they are in power and they are doing the very thing they condemned us for. Uh, the agreement has been tweaked mm. insignificantly. There's just been some minor changes to it. But uh, basically, okay. what we sought to do is what they are coming to continue. So this right. exposes the double standards of this, you know, uh, 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 a Adol led government. That when they were in opposition, they said one thing. Now that they are in power and they are confronted with the stark reality, mm. uh, they are beating retreat and they are coming back to support the very things that we're doing. It's right. a vindication of the position we took when we're in office. Mm. And like I said, the challenges associated with it should be looked at by the sector minister and all the authorities concerned okay. so that the activities of ECG is not hampered okay. negatively. Uh, Doc, my, 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 my brother, mm. uh, I'm happy. I know a lot of people watch this particular network and I'm happy I have the opportunity to educate and explain mm. how significantly different this government is right. from the Estoa government when it comes to this deal. Okay. Number one, the concession was meant to be for 25 years okay. under their deal. Mm. When we came, we reviewed it, it's come to 20 years. Number two, and I'm happy you stated it clearly, mm. shareholding mm. was supposed to be 80 for the foreigners, 20 for Ghana. Right. And if you appreciate the dynamics of corporate structure, mm. once shareholding of a particular person exceeds 50%, mm. by and large, they control or own the entity. Right. What have we done? We've changed it. Where ours is 51%, mm. theirs is 49 Anyone who understands corporate will tell you once it's 51, the intent is to make sure that we still okay. are the major shareholder. Doc. By inter please, my no, brother, no, you I'm should learn. Have you. a big heart. No, I'm just... I was taught this by Nana Dudanko Ekufado. I don't know who is teaching him. Where I'm very calm when he's speaking. When he comes I was just to, drawing your attention to something. Out. Don't worry, I'm not heckling you. I was uh, drawing your attention to something. But so, sorry. the most significant change which occurred with this agreement mm. is the shareholder change. Okay. Where now Ghana is still mm. the majority shareholder mm. when it comes to ECG. Where we agreed with them, where it is universal, is the fact that once there is private sector participation, right. Efficiency is supposed to go up. Liquidity, when it comes to the ability to pay for all their things, mm. is supposed to go up. And the third most important, their transmission losses ought to come down. Right. So we are so different mm. from them. We believe, and this is what is interesting, they've been talking about sovereignty when it comes to U.S. military and agreement. Mm. When your power sector, mm. you were comfortable giving 80% to a foreigner, how can you be so bold and forceful when you're talking about sovereignty. What is the assurance that is power not part of your security? If whether you have light or not mm. at the flat staff house is in the hands of foreign players, mm. how sovereign did you want to uh, be? Luckily and thankfully, with this new administration, mm. we have gone to the table, changed, and I hope you were aware that some of them were complaining that they are not happy with the fact that we've changed the shareholding structure. You know, some of them complain. Some of the Stakeholders. Mm -hmm. They said in the in the beginning they were giving the impression that yeah, the they were going the, to be the, the majority. The three firms. Exactly. The raising process. Yeah. Immediately we came. We changed the rhythm. <clears throat> they were they were dancing to than uh, uh, I don't want to mention the party and that's why government and they were so excited because they knew that they were going to take over. Mm. With us, we believe in the big uh, believe in Ghana. We believe in the fact that collaboration is important, okay. but being in charge is very, very critical. Mm -hmm. And we are in charge with ECG. And let me add the good news for workers at ECG. Okay. There was a 10-year security tenor in the earlier concession. Right. The agreement they were going to sign on to, mm -hmm. that your security of tenor, if you work at ECG for 10 years, what it means after 10 years, it was for the foreigner who is the majority to determine your fate. With us, we've taken it out of the agreement so that no worker, unless you opt to go away yourself, will be threatened with retrenchment as a result of the uh, concession. Two different uh, bodies, mm. two different uh, parties, mm. two different tangents, two different uh, uh, agreements. Very important. Okay, I thank you very much. Yes, uh, sir, just something sorry. small. Um, you know, at the time we were leaving office, right. the agreement we were negotiating for in relation to this ECG concession deal mm -hmm. had not been concluded. Right. And Dr. Okuboy must understand that governance is a continuum. We started a process. Mm. You understand? We didn't leave to see the end of that process. Mm. 
they assumed office and they have continued that process. So if along the way they have renegotiated the terms of the agreement and they've made it better, it is good for the Republic of Ghana. But let him not sit here and suggest mm. that the NDC did something so bad and they are doing something good. In any case, in any case, mm. if they are supposed to stick to the original position they took whilst in opposition, he will not be talking the way he's talking today. Because whilst in opposition, the they, were not for, not good. they were not for the renegotiation of the terms of the concession. They were totally and vehemently against the no, deal no, in the first place. So this is, this, this the is concession a change in position. The bad because of the please, provisions please, please, in the no, no, allow him. I, I thought I, you said you learned I, something I, from I, I'm I'm from before. Now you should have a big heart. So, so, please. Oh, now you're not learning from again. You see, you see your mission. So that is the point I'm making. A gov the gov governance is a continuum. Right. We started the process. We have come to continue it. Mm. Is it Dr. Opo Okobo, this propaganda about we uh, selling the sovereignty of Ghana and all that. Please, please, spare us that. Okay, let's... Vo vote of, my, vo uh, Ghana Telecom, who sold it? Mm. Who sold it? Should I give you a list of all the state assets that you have sold? No, we, and all we, that. we so have the Let us not go into we'll that discussion at all. Yes. Yes. So, so, so let us let us agree mm -hmm. that the NDC, you see, in Akan, in Akan, it is said that Yechirikokwa Yeninima. You understand? So, if if you have come into office and you have continued what we started, you have renegotiated for better things. It means that what we started was good, and that is why you have continued it. Let us acknowledge that, and let us make progress. All right. So, uh, finally, two lawsuits hit government of a U.S. military deal. Uh, two individuals have filed separate lawsuits at the Supreme Court against the government, challenging the legality of the United States uh, of America cooperation agreement with the Ghana, uh, with Ghana, which has been ratified by Parliament. Yabroja Jemfi, a member of the opposition NDC, and Emmanuel Kuting, Executive Director for Africa Center for Security and Counterterrorism, filed the suits yesterday. This is a story by Senior Elvis Darko. Yabroja Jemfi is uh, seeking uh, that uh, neither the executive nor the legislature has the power to enter or ratify a treaty that is to oust the jurisdiction of the Supreme Court in matters interpretation uh, of international agreement, even though uh, the agreement was ratified on Friday. Uh, he seems to have a few challenges there. He is also seeking a declaration that the Ministry of Defense acted in contravention of Articles 58, 1, 75, and 93, 2 of the 1992 Constitution, which he laid or caused uh, to be laid before Parliament uh, an executive draft of the supposed defense cooperation agreement for ratification uh, under Article 75 of the 1992 Constitution. On the other hand, Emmanuel Koting is uh, it wants the Supreme Court to declare the agreement uh, which many Ghanaians, including some security experts, have criticized as null and void. It's challenging the basis on which Ghana's parliament ratified the agreement, which he argued was not executed between Ghana and United States governments. Now, we also have information uh, from the Daily Guy that today the uh, past uh, agreements from 1998 all through uh, 2015 will be laid before Parliament today. I'm sure Doc will have a taste, but uh, I'll start with you this time around on this particular one. Yeah. Uh, this, this deal certainly is not in good taste in, in the yeah. mouth of many Ghanaians. They think that the sovereignty of this country is being traded uh, for, for nothing at all. Yeah. And somebody made an argument the other time, uh, somebody who's been working with a lot of airlines, he says, look, if we put together all the monies that these embassies take from us um, in terms of visa fees, for example, the U.S. Embassy, in a year we could, they could make a lot of money yeah. and, and giving us 20 million is yeah. chicken change. My brother, uh, just, I'll give just a, a short intro. You know, I have with me this is an agreement regarding the status of U.S. military personnel and civil employees of the U.S. Department of Defense. Temporarily, listen, temporarily present in Ghana in connection with the African Crisis Response Initiative and other initiatives, effected by exchange of notes at Accra, November 24, 1997, mm. signed by, under the government of His Excellency, Jerry John Rawlings. Okay. This is a document, and essentially, this is the 98 Let me tender agreement. the document. I'll give you, I'll give you. But you, you I'll read just a small portion, just for you. Something he's not tendering the document. No, no, I'll give to both of you. <laughs> just for you to appreciate the magnitude of the hypocrisy being exhibited by my brothers, where you see clearly some of the concessions we gave. Now, the embassy of the United States presents his complaint. Now, he said the embassy, um, okay, 
You no, can't. No. You can't find. No, no, no. I mean, just I don't want to. Bore so you hope people. you will not eat into my. Oh no, we are not eating into my time. Just we have enough time. <laughs> so uh, wait, let me kindly. So this is the ninety-eight agreement, right? Okay. And uh, it talks about some of the concessions we gave and some of the waivers and all that. Now, right. it said the embassy further proposed that such personnel, mm. referring to U.S. personnel, okay. be authorized to wear uniforms while performing official duties and to carry mm. arms. Listen. Okay. While on duty. If authorized to do so by their orders, okay. not their orders from Ghanaian orders, commanders by US, and that the government of Ghana accord due to free importation and exportation as well as exemption mm. from internal taxation on products, property, material, and equipment imported into mm. or acquired in Ghana by the United States, States government. He's a descendant of that party. They signed on onto such an agreement. Now, I have what. Uh, Hanatete, Honorable Hanatete signed in Ghana and was signed onto by a U.S. general in Hamburg on the 28th of April 2015 in Accra, but the Hamburg one was signed by the general on the 13th of April okay. in Stuttgart. Now, this is a U.S. agreement. Okay. When you look at what came before Parliament, it stated in the preamble clearly that it is actually a continuation of the erstwhile well agreement we signed in 2015. This is what? More or less a modification or a continuation. My brother. A modification that, that, that gives off more than what... I want them to this. point to me the content in the new document which is different from the previous so that then we can speak to that matter. Okay. The point I'm making is that in this 98 agreement, way back in 98, okay. we agreed that they can come with arms into this country. They don't pay any taxes. And they receive orders to carry arms or not only from their generals and not from our generals. Now, where was our sovereignty? Who tells you that when somebody comes into your country with arms to come and do military exercise, you can still talk about intact borders by then? They, were, they had no problem with the absoluteness of our territorial integrity in 98. Now, let me come to 2015. You see, what are some of the points people have raised with this deal which makes it bad? Number one, why are Ghanaians paying taxes at the ports? But MPP wants to sign onto an agreement where the people are tax exempt. I've shown you that way back in '98 they paid no taxes. But that's why I'm coming. I'm coming. Voted for I know, I know, and I'll explain that. I'll explain just to expose the duplicity and the hypocrisy. Then I'll come to your point. Two. We, we don't have a lot of time. Okay, no, no, I'll make it short. I'll ask for the exposition. It's so important, right. so that it, it positions him well, how to come. They are suit about this agreement. The first suit should have been on the '98. The second suit on 2015, and then if they had a third suit on ours, I'll be so comfortable and cool. Now, let me come to the issues of uh, $20 million and all that. Okay. I've said this authoritatively. You can call Ghana Armed Forces staff, uh, this thing, Bema Camp. Okay. Number one, 60% of all our military arsenal and artillery, they, are, they come in the form of grants from three countries, Germany, the United Kingdom, and U.S. Must we be proud of I'm, it? I'm, Must we be proud good, of it? Good, good. So... You are a country that has significant challenges when it comes to providing food for your citizens and vaccines for your children. And it is because of that that you've gone into all kinds of collaboration. The U.S. spends millions of dollars to give you vaccines. Okay. The U.S., through their collaboration, makes huge investments in this country. People in the North, I'd, I'm, I'm giving you some, just a few cases so that we educate our citizens why they should not be so... Uh, how do you call it, restricted when it comes to how they see things. In collaborations, the other partner has their interest, you also have your interest. In many places where they collaborate with us and their taxpayer gives us huge millions of dollars, you think they are fools? No, it's because they know that in this world in which you are, you can't do it alone. You need collaboration. If the U.S., and uh, mind you, just like in previous agreements, if their men come here, they stay for some weeks, do exercise and go back. In Afghanistan, in South Korea, in other places, they have permanent bases. In the, in the beginning, they created the impression that that's what is going to happen here. It's been shut down. None of them is coming to build a barracks here, have their wives and children living here, and going to school are here. There, are the fears yeah. raised by Ghanaians genuine? Yeah, good. Are the fears genuine? The fears, by and large, they've been cooked on the flames of suspicion, which were set by my brothers. The fears, you good. And what we have to do, okay. like I'm coming, okay. relax. To get no, yeah. They set on. flames of suspicion okay. and the fears have cooked and they are baked. But the point I'm making is that mm -hmm. it is the duty of some of us okay. 
to let our citizens understand that their children, Ghanaian children, they are able to live beyond five years because other countries use their taxpayer money to invest in us. And my brother, if your child lives in a village, has not seen a computer before, and is supposed to do uh, joint classes with, uh, uh, with a, a, a parent whose child is schooling GIS, they are all doing, they are supposed to do joint classes in a study group. And you say that because my child will eat from the house of a diplomat, uh, my, my integrity is being ruined. Why is your integrity? When your child stands to benefit from a collaboration. Okay. Thank so you. we have a lot to benefit some, from some this collaboration. Bite, uh, but let Amma read a few comments and then Samuel will take it. Amma, right. right. So let's, let's just do a few comments now. Good morning, TV3. NPP is exposed. All the charges labeled against Dr. Opuni and Agongo were, went futile. We thank God. But they should take note. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. 2020 is not far. They will reap what they sow. That's coming from Salman Faris in Tamale. Also, I was expecting something better from the law student, but I think NDC sickness of propaganda will not allow him to be exceptional. It's unfortunate he couldn't distance himself from dirty propaganda, but I think he can do a meaningful presentation if he stays away from the mischievous noise coming in from Al Hassan Hamidou Eskalu from Nalirugu. Also from Julius Agahoha and Tahiru in Asawasi. Let me salute all our party members who went to the court to support one of our own. Ghanaian journalists should stop condemning those who went there because this is not the first time such a thing is happening in this country. We all know that what is happening to Dr. Opuni is pure persecution, witch hunting and finding the easiest way to buttress their much touted corruption allegations against JM's government. No wonder the AG is granting interviews all over and predicting a 25-year jail term on the culprits when the court is yet to ascertain the true facts of the matter in 2020 changed the bad change. Sami Jenfi is making my day. I need him as coach, coming from Arafat in UG. And then finally, good morning, TV3. If the government is truly serious and wants to retrieve state money, it should revisit the drill ship issue after all that caused the state to lose huge money from Anto Sylvester in Kumasi. Johnny, we'll wrap up with that. Thank you. Messages. We'll read some more of them. But Sunny, take your bites now on the US, uh, the, the back and forth. Today, uh, we're told that the agreement that was signed under the previous government, which was largely yours, will be laid before Parliament today. Uh, the fears have been expressed, but what are your own concerns, Sami? You see, my brother, I'll be very honest with you. Sitting down here, listening to my brother, Dr. Okuboy, speak, really breaks my heart. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether to cry or to wail or I don't know. Because this is sad. I can't believe this. I can't believe that we are doing this to ourselves mm. as a people. I can't believe it. What is wrong with us? Mm. My brother, nobody is against our collaboration with the United States of America. Wow. <clears throat> for you know, partnership in the defense and security of our nations. Nobody is against that. Mm. We have done so in the past with other nations and with the United States of America itself, mm. and we will continue to do so as a country. Mm. All we are saying is that in doing so, mm. the terms of such agreements okay. must be in the national interest. Mm. But that is not what we are having in this case. In the, the terms oh, of no, this no, agreement, no. I'll, I'll ask the, the terms of this agreement, undermine our sovereignty mm. and the peace and stability we are enjoying as a country. What's different from this new one? I will show you In what this is new different. One and but first of all, when I say that this agreement undermines our sovereignty, I will not quote the NDC to buttress that point. Neither will I quote the many civil society organizations mm. who have spoken in, in, in support of this position. I will quote, because your I will quote, do you know what I will do? This agreement, you know, your agreement please, was in the dark. Please, 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 even their ministers please, didn't know about the Apply the lessons you learned from Akufuado. Allow him, yeah, allow him. Have allow a allow big allow 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 apply those lessons. Allow him. Please. I will quote the MPP majority members of parliament themselves, I will quote their report, mm. to buttress this position, mm. that this agreement undermines the peace, security, and the sovereignty of Ghana. I read to you, Paragraph 64, 6.4, mm. which is on page 6 of 
the parliamentary committee which actually recommended this deal for approval. Do you understand? Okay. I'm reading from their report, and this is what he says. Under the heading, freedom of movement of vehicles, vessels, and aircrafts. And I know Dr. Kuboy has this. This is what he says. The committee noted with concern mm. the unfettered access the agreement grants to the aircraft, mm. vehicles, and vessels of the U.S. Department of Defense okay. to enter, exit, and freely move within the territory, okay. airspace, and territorial waters of Ghana. Mm. Listen to this very carefully. This may appear to undermine the sovereignty appear. and security appear. of Ghana. Appear. This is the MPP majority appear. members of parliament speaking appear. here. Appear. But you see, because of mm. cheap politics, mm. Dr. Appear. Kobo is here trying to save the face of this government when the government is doing something wrong. I want shows that what For once, mean, you people should listen to the people of Ghana. He says that I should show him the difference between the 1998 yes, 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 yes. agreement, right. the 2015 yes, agreement, yes. and this current yeah. one. Yeah. I will show you. Yes. We, we don't have, and you we don't can have vote to Manjong online I'm to told, do that. I'm told we're Number we're one, we're in the 2015 yeah. agreement and yeah. the 1998 agreement, yeah. there is no part of, there is no article in those two agreements where he says that Ghana will grant unimpeded access to agree facilities and the areas. Arms, the arms please, that were going please, to come please, in Nigeria. Please, please, please. The arms. Please, please allow me. Fetter. Please allow me. Oh, but please. Isn't there agreement? Unimpeded access to facilities and areas. That's what please he's allow me to make no, my no, point no. so that viewers can but make a judgment. I've read it. I've please, read it. Please, don't do this. You are a doctor. Yours was the same. For sake, allow me to make my you point. So that lead that judgment to gain yes. Yeah, and the viewers yeah, yeah. credit them with some intelligence. Yeah. So the point I'm making yeah. is that in those agreements, we yeah. never granted them unimpeded access to I've our read, facilities. Read them. We never true. gave them exclusive control it and exclusive true. usage okay. of our facilities. I've number two, them. let me show you no, another no, material no. difference. No, but read it. Number two, number two, in those agreements, it? please. Mm. Yeah. My brother, can I make my point? They yes. give them access. It is not there. Access to facilities, not there. Yes, there are minutes. No, hold on. Arms are facilities. Ah, but what are arms? What is it? That is English. We are talking about facilities and areas. About arms. What, what, what are you talking about? Please allow me to make my point. Okay, allow gentlemen, me to make my point. Yes, thank you very much. Please, I beg you, don't uh, do this. I beg yeah. you. Let me conclude. Your five minutes secondly, is up, Sammy. Secondly, in mm. those agreements, mm. there were definite, there, 